In this presentation, we'll look at pressure ulcers, risk factors, and their stages of pressure ulcers. We'll look at stages of wound healing, including primary and secondary intention, as well as nursing assessment, interventions, and evaluation of wounds in the acute care setting. The skin is the body's largest organ, accounting for 15% of total body weight. The skin acts as a protective barrier against disease-causing microorganisms. Injury to the skin possesses risk to safety and triggers a complex healing response. Knowing the normal healing pattern will help nurses recognize alterations that require interventions. A pressure ulcer is a localized injury to the skin and underlying tissue. It's usually over a bony prominence and results from pressure in combination with shear and friction. If pressure is applied over a capillary and extends for a long period of time, ischemia will occur to the tissue. If left untreated, tissue death occurs. Low pressures over a long period of time can also cause tissue damage. Extended pressure occludes blood flow and nutrients and contributes to cell death. The ability of the tissue to endure pressure depends on the integrity of the tissue and supporting structures. Blanching of the tissue occurs when the normal red tones of the skin are absent. Blanching does not occur in dark-skinned patients. Risk factors for pressure ulcers generally occur in these six areas. Impaired sensory perception, shear, alteration in level of consciousness, friction, impaired mobility, and moisture. Any patient who has experienced decreased mobility, decreased sensation, fecal or urinary incontinence, poor nutrition, is at risk for pressure ulcer development. Patients with altered sensory perception for pain or pressure are at risk because they cannot feel their body sensations. Patients who are unable to independently change positions are also at risk because they cannot shift pressure off of their bony prominence. Patients who are confused or disoriented also are unable to protect themselves. Shear is a force exerted parallel to the skin resulting from both gravity pushing down on the body and resistance. Friction is a force of two surfaces moving across one another, such as a mechanical force exerted when the body is dragged across another surface. The presence and duration of moisture on the skin reduces the skin's resistance to other physical factors. As an example of shearing friction, the force of two surfaces moving across each other is friction and shearing force is sliding movement of skin and the subcutaneous and underlying muscle and bone are stationary. These forces put patients at higher risk for developing pressure ulcers over bony prominences. Major areas of bony prominences and hyper include those listed on the diagram on the right. For example, a patient in the supine position have high risk of pressure ulcers on the back of the head, shoulder, elbow, buttocks, and the back of the heels.